2007 Mazda 3 2.3 liter testing the map sensor manifold absolute pressure sensor we're gonna go down here to our automotive presets go to sensors we're gonna click on map it's gonna tell us channel one we're testing for voltage please connect channel one with the BNC banana I already connected it here on the scope and on the other side of the lead we have the black going to battery ground we have the red lead back probed at the map sensor signal wire. We're gonna hit okay. We're gonna go ahead and make a recording of this. You can see up here we're recording. We already have voltage going across the screen. We're gonna hit measure and we wanna add min and max. Shows on our screen here, minimum. We're at 970 millivolts, max. 1.25 volts. We're going to go give it some gas. All right, from here we can see our min and max. Minimum is 220 millivolts. Max is 4.11 volts. If you want, you can grab your cursors. You have your horizontal cursors here. Take Y1, put it where you want to measure. We're gonna go right at the top. If you want to find adjust, you could press right here. As you see, Y1 is 4.08 volts. We'll go down to Y2. We're gonna fine adjust, get it right at the bottom. And you see Y2, we're at 280 millivolts. And then underneath that, it shows the difference between Y1 and Y2 is 3.8 volts. Now you can move both of those cursors at the same time by touching two fingers on the screen, moving them up and down. We can get rid of them. Press there again. If we want to measure, that was measuring the voltage. If we want to measure time, we press our vertical cursors. And we can measure anywhere on here we want. Say we want to go from the top of that peak, we can find adjust. Click on X2. Say we want to go right to this one here. We can see the difference between the two. X1 is 710 milliseconds. X2 is 140 milliseconds. And then the difference between them. It also shows our frequency. Get rid of it. Swipe up. Press there. If you want to know what your vehicle should be at, you can go to a place like All Data Do It Yourself or Mitchell. They have a do it yourself as well. You could pay per vehicle and it's going to give you everything you need to know on your car or what it should be or shouldn't be for diagnosing we have our recording going we could stop the recording wait before we stop the recording i want to show you a couple things you could take a picture of it right here takes a picture of what's on the screen you can hit a quick save that's going to save this waveform pattern into your files if you want to see it you can go over here this is where our video is that we're recording. Oh, it's not gonna let us do it while we're recording. We can go to our photos that we just took. Here's the photo that we just took. These are our files. This is gonna show our different recordings and waveforms. But what we can do is we can go back to the oscilloscope We're gonna get one more pattern again real quick here. Okay, now that we have a known good pattern, what we can do is we can hit quick save that's going to save the reference. Then we can go right here to this little button. We can press reference. And the last one we made is going to be on top. It's going to be right there. Press the screen. 
And now you can see this is our reference waveform. This is a no go known good. The purple trace here is a known good. So later on, if the same vehicle is having a problem and you think there's a problem with the map sensor, you can go ahead and get a waveform, a live waveform like you did here. And then you can pull up your reference that's going to be saved in your files and you can literally overlap it to compare it. And if you want to switch to the live one, you just press channel one there and now you're in control of this one here. Pretty neat. And then to back out of there, you just hit reference to turn that one off. Press it twice and it'll turn it off. There we have it, folks. Mix SIG testing a map sensor on a 2007 Mazda 3 2.3 liter.